thank you. Uh, now we are uh, returning back to um, the Maryland Stork, uh, our guest on Maryland Stork Business on the Uplift Show. And for those who haven't seen the show from the beginning, uh, we had a beautiful, uh, we had a beautiful, you know, experience with uh, Mar- the, with Stephanie Hill of Maryland Stork Lady, uh, uh, telling us exactly about the business. And for those who don't know about the Uplift Business and Power of Purpose Radio, Uplift is uniting parents living insurmountable family trials. Now, not, this is not a trial, but this is an uplifting story because this can uplift any family, especially it can also uplift the neighbors knowing that there's a new child, new female, male coming into the community, and it will show compassion with the family and friends. It takes a village to raise a child, and this can also let your next-door neighbor know, okay, we have a little boy coming in our neighborhood, and if there is some things that the parents may stand in need of because of you know the difficulty financially, they can you know, possibly go out and, you know, purchase some clothing, some items or whatever the case, whatever they may need, the father could be laid off or we just never know what the difference is. But having this in the yard and you seeing it can get you prepared to help your neighbor and to have compassion on them if they stand in need. Stand in need. And Tracy, I agree with that. Um, I, I received a story or feedback from a customer, you know, which I love to get feedback from customers about their experience in receiving stork signs in their yard. You know, for some of us, it's just a bird, mm-hmm. you know, but to others, it's it's something that um, is inspiring. Um, we had delivered a stork uh, to a uh, young lady out in the Anne Arundel County area, and her mother had actually ordered the stork for her, mm-hmm. and um, we were very excited. We made the delivery, and, you know, all was well. We later received um, an email from the mother, Mm -hmm. um, the grandmother, um, and she indicated that um, the delivery went well, um, but they got some very unexpected news. During the delivery, the mother, um, they discovered she had cancer. She was in stage four cancer. And she indicated, she said, you know, thank you so much for bringing the stork out and being so prompt and just, you know, the customer service and, Mm -hmm. you know, and providing this service because when... The mother got home and she saw the stork. It gave her hope. Wow, that's awesome. It gave her that's hope. Awesome. And, you know, that, that story gives me chills because, you know, you never know what just a small gesture, like a stork sign, could mean to someone. And, it gives uh, you hope and it yeah. helps you to step out on faith when you're thinking, right. like, if God did this right. for me, then he can uh, He can allow me to survive right. as well. Right. And we know that we, we, stand, we, we serve a, the living God and, by his stripes we are healed. How is the mother mm-hmm. doing at this time? You know, from what I've, family? I have not spoken with the family, but I'm assuming that all is well. But, you know, I, I also strongly believe that God put me in this business for a particular reason. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I come from a Christian-based um, home. Um, and when I hear stories like that, you know, I always tell my customers, you know, I'm praying for you. I'm sending up a prayer right now for Amen. you. Amen. And I let them know that there is hope and that God can heal. So, you know, I, I, I wouldn't have suspected that I would have been in the stork business, but God knows, and he has a purpose for me Amen. in this business to spread hope and to share good news to customers who, you know, may need it, in addition Amen. to having a, a lawn sign in their yard. Amen. So how would one, if they are in the, Mar- in the DMV area or if they are abroad, you know, in another state, how would they get in contact with you to have you come to their neighborhood? Okay. To get that stork in their yard, how would they do that? <laughs> You know, I am so fortunate that we have a strong word of mouth base, um, but typically people find us on the internet. If you go to www.MarylandStorkLady.com, and Maryland is spelled out, MarylandStorkLady.com, um, that's our website. Mm-hmm. And at the top of the menu bar, you'll see a sign or you'll see um, information on how to order a stork. Mm-hmm. But even in that, you know, I get um, customers like uh, grandparents who are not um, computer savvy. And they'll call and they'll say, you know, how do I place an order? You know, I don't really know how to work this computer. (laughs) And I'm like, well, you know what? I can take your order over the phone so I can do that live. Or, you know, if they're not familiar or, you know, technologically savvy with a computer, they'll say, well, I do do know how to text. And I'm like, well, you know what? Text me, (laughs) you know, your information and I will, you know, give you, I'll reply back to you with the information that I need to make this um, delivery for you. So. And, and how much does this cost? What if there is a parent or a father that wants to do this for his wife, his fiance, or his significant other, and he wants to do it and mm-hmm. doesn't have the funding? Is there? Do you have some type of payment plan that they may be able to 
Mm -hmm. to uh, participate in or? You know, typically um, we have, um, our, we, we try to make our stores affordable, first of all, um, because it is such a happy occasion. You know, you want everybody to, to be able to share in that experience. We have gifted storks. Mm -hmm. We've done that. Um, you know, as God has placed on our heart, we've gifted storks. We typically have two packages, which is a five-day and a seven-day rental. Uh, five days is $65, and seven days are 75 And, you know, and I get this a lot. You know, my customers will call and say, you know, well, we didn't get a chance to take pictures, you know, because it was raining or it's snowing. And I'm like, you know what, go ahead and keep the stork for an extra couple of days. You know, there's no charge. Mm -hmm. um, outside of that, you know, we have made ourselves available to accept a variety of payment methods so that um, people can choose what method, you know, works for them. Um, credit, money order, mm -hmm. credit card, mm -hmm. what have you, mm -hmm. that process. Yeah, and we use PayPal a lot, which allows people the flexibility to pay, you know, through a variety of um, financial means. So. And do you have a team of people that would go to places if you work, if you're working Monday through Friday, that would go to, say, for instance, Virginia or Ohio or some other place to mm -hmm. deliver the store? How does that happen? Well, my area, um, I am a... The, the parent company is called the Stork Lady, and um, my area that I purchase would be for the Maryland area. Um, I've expanded into the Northern Virginia area through the help of my affiliate, um, Valley Stork Lady, so we can cover Prince George, I'm sorry, uh, Fairfax, uh, Prince, George, Prince William County, um, the um, Warren County area, mm -hmm. Winchester area. But here in the Maryland area, yes, I do. I am blessed with a lovely uh, young lady who is a driver for me. You know, we, we've been fortunate that the business has grown, that um, I'm able to um, step out and employ someone to assist with the rider. Oh, that's a blessing. Um, so. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So, and you have, um, you have uh, the, the pink stork, then you have the blue one for the boy, and the pink one for the girl. What if it's a boy and a girl? How do you do that? Well, typically, um, we do. We have a blue stork for boys, and we have a pink stork for girls. And if we have twins, um, which they are, you know, identical, um, then you know we have a supply of storks. You know, you know, two pinks for two girls, and or a pink and a blue for boys. It's very uh, seldom that we get identical twins. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why, but um, typically, you know, we'll have a pink and a blue for twins. But we are able and to accommodate that. Happened in 2017. <laughs> that is true. That is true. You know, although the trend has been, there's a lot of baby boys being born lately. A lot of baby That's boys. Good. God's yeah. replen he's replenishing the land. Okay. <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah, so um, anytime someone can call within 24 hours, our goal is to make sure that the stork is on the lawn before mom gets home because that's, that's a part of the, the big surprise. Now, have you had any, and this is probably more funny than anything, have you had a, had a, had a, had a time where the, you place a stork on someone's lawn and there, there was this big snowstorm and the snork, the, snork, the stork got covered or, <laughs> you know, they couldn't get to the stork. Has that ever happened? We pray it doesn't, but has that ever happened? That has never happened, but what has happened, because we deliver, babies come all the time, and they typically come when there's a blizzard. It does not fail, or when it's icy outside. And, you know, I pride myself on, hey, if, if a dad or, or someone in the family or a friend or a colleague wants to provide that special um, uh, homecoming, then, you know, I'm going to do my best to get it there. Mm -hmm. So I remember going to a customer's home. It was think probably three years ago and we had an uh, insurmountable amount of snow and I had to take a shovel with me because I did that delivery myself wow. and I had to dig probably through five feet of snow wow. and God you got yeah <laughs> I got through it and we were able to put the stork up and the couple called back and they you know said thank you so much and I think they were more impressed that we came out in the snow than anything else but um, we try to post pictures of all of our storks on our website um, they're directly uploaded to Twitter, um, which is twitter.com MD Stork Lady, and Facebook, um, it's facebook.com Maryland Stork Lady, and that again, Maryland is spelled out. So anytime that we um, deliver a stork, mm -hmm. our goal is to automatically tweet it right up to the internet. And, and the reason why, that, why we do that is because sometimes it's the grandparents calling from California, and they're mm -hmm. not able to be here to right. see the stork. Right. So as a service, um, we try to put it on the internet to make it available so that friends and family around the globe, you know, have access to um, share in the special announcement as well. Oh, that's wonderful. So if you're looking for a stork, if you're, if you're looking to 
have a child and maybe one day when I get married I'll be calling and <laughs> stuff in my yard. <laughs> please do, please do. We would appreciate that. Oh, that'd be nice. I would look forward to. I probably will be. Well, I don't know if it'll be a surprise, but it will be a surprise. <laughs> oh, you know, however God sees fit, we'll, we'll see what happens. Thank you. Thank you. And again, our coverage area is very broad. Um, on my website, it specifically states, you know, if we're not in your area, call me anyway. You know, customer service, I have learned, is, is very important. You know, when people are in situations like that, um, they're sometimes already in a frantic situation. They're trying to get everything together. You know, I try to relieve that part mm -hmm. from them. And while I may not be in your delivery area, I know someone who is. And, you know, I, I, I take the time to do the research for you to make sure that um, you can provide this special announcement that, you know, you're trying to, you know, do for the, for the, for the family. Amen. Uh, but in addition to that, you know, like I said, we service, you know, parts of Anne Arundel County, uh, Prince George's County, uh, Baltimore County, Baltimore City, uh, Montgomery County, we've gone into D.C., Georgetown area. And, you know, I have customers say, well, you know, in Baltimore City, you know, sometimes there's not any grass. And I'm like, that's fine. You know, we put <laughs> storks in planters. <laughs> we have attached them to the railings of the homes. And but they're what just about the hours. The I hours. want to do it during the daylight. No, the we hours. don't. Typically, um, our deliveries um, are between 7 and 9 at night. You know, we deliver, you know, throughout the day. Um, so we don't have any particular time frame we may have a, a, a family that calls to say you know mom is coming home in a couple of hours can you get here uh, and we do our best mm -hmm. to accommodate them that's yeah. awesome mm -hmm. I was just thinking I, you know you, I would see you out there trying to put the stork out there in the, in the dark but you know hopefully there's light around and like you said you got the research we are fully prepared we are fully prepared with flashlights <laughs> Rain, um, heat, there you go <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had one interesting situation where a couple, you know, had um, ordered a stork. And when I got there, it was in the summertime. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was at night. And, of course, you know, I had my um, flashlight, you know, just to make sure that everything was set up okay. But when I got there, he had the sprinkler system on. Oh, my goodness. So I had to go Don't in my car. Yeah, I had to go in my <laughs> car and get an umbrella. Um, so we deliver oh, in God. a variety of situations. Um, wow. Our goal is to make sure that stork is sitting in the yard for mom when she gets home through rain, sleet, snow, or sprinkler systems. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> now, that would have been a blooper. Hopefully no one take that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very happy business, and I'm glad to be doing it. I, I feel very blessed, and I feel very fortunate that um, God has placed me in a position to be able to, to do this and also to show my children. I have two beautiful children. And um, they work in the business as well. They go oh, out and make deliveries. So it's a family business. Now, some of the storks now are probably as tall as the people that, as tall as the children that you put in, put them in the, into the yard for, right? They are. Our, <laughs> our storks are six feet tall. They're six feet tall. And um, attached to the stork is a bundle. And on that bundle, it's customized with all the baby statistics. But um, the stork is actually taller than I am. So... Wow. <laughs> Truly, it was truly a blessing to meet you, and we'll definitely have to thank Alexis Lawson for allowing us to yes. meet and thanking God for this opportunity. Yes, and thank you, Alexis. Just to let you know the Power of Purpose is here for you. Thank you. The Uplift Show is here for you, and if there's anything that we can do mm -hmm. to help you expand your business, you just let us know. We will definitely be fully spread the word. Thank you, and if customers have questions, they can always call me at 410-963-2174. Or you can reach me online at MarylandStorkLady.com or you can send me an email at info at MarylandStorkLady.com. Again, that's 410-963-2174. And if you could do us one more one more, thing, one more favor before you get off, if you sure. could show us this beautiful piece of work you have here. Okay, so I brought can. some products along awesome. to show. Um, we had spoken earlier about um, sibling signs, and we also are venturing into other products like diaper cakes. We do those as well. Um, so here you'll see the uh, sibling sign, and typically what this does, it sits in the ground next to the stork, and it's a way to make the sibling feel special as well and to kind of celebrate the occasion. So it comes in pink or blue dots, um, or if you have a special colored dot that you'd like for Beautiful. us to use, thank you, we can do that as well. And then directly behind the sibling um, sign, we'll... You can move the sign and you'll be able okay. to see the stork in itself. Let me just move this over here. Thank you so much. You'll see our um, six-foot stork sign directly behind us, and today we have a baby girl stork. 
And uh, you can see that it is customized with um, baby Bria, uh, who happens to be my daughter, as you'll see, 1997, it's um, <laughs> some time ago. But this is what a typical bundle would look like. And this is called the keepsake bundle. And we do give this to the proud parents at the end of the, um, oh, at so the, end of the rental. It's probably sitting in someone's living room. Yeah, what they the baby's room. Exactly, what they do is they attach them to the outside door um, of the nursery. Um, and they use them as keepsake or they'll put them in the room, in the baby's room. But it has the baby's, typically it has the baby's first and middle name. For this, you know, for today's sake, I used baby Bria, but it's usually the first and the middle name. We don't do last names because privacy is very important to us, so we do, uh, we don't disclose that. So you see baby Bria, you have her weight, six pounds, 14 ounces, 20 inches strong, and then we have her birth date. And this stays out for the duration of the rental. And like I said, at the end, we come back, we take the stork, but we leave the, um, the proud family the um, birth announcement. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you again, Stephanie, for this time. And as we come to a close of our show on today, we just want to thank you all for watching us. And um, we will come back to, we will come back again. We'll be, we'll be back on the Uplift, Uplift show next week at 1030. So, Tune in. If you have any questions or concerns or comments that you would like to make, please do so via the, uh, the live stream and also on Facebook. You can also uh, catch Stephanie at Marilyn Stork um, on Facebook as well and also on Power of Purpose. You can also just express your, your, express your ideas. We're always open to suggestions. And we just want to thank you for taking the time and spending your half an hour with us today. God bless you and may God keep you. May you have a blessed and prosperous, bright day on today. Go in peace. Thank you so much. Thank God you. bless you.